Hi, hello guys, welcome to IS YouTube channel. Today we will know what are the types of inputs. Before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest EPSC videos. So, what is earthquake? Earthquakes are one of the most powerful and destructive natural disasters that can occur in various parts of the world. They are caused by release of energy stored in the earth crust due to tectonic plate movements. Earthquakes can range in size from small, barely noticeable tremors to massive, devastating quakes that can cause widespread damage and loss of life. So, we all know it is made up of tectonic. And they move on fluid constantly. So, when they meet at one place, there will be release of energy, which causes earthquake. So, what are the types of earthquake? First one is tectonic earthquake, two, volcanic earthquakes, three, collapse earthquakes, four, explosion earthquakes, fifth, Tsunami earthquakes, six artificial earthquakes. So, what is tectonic earthquake? Tectonic earthquakes are the most common type of earthquakes and occurs when its tectonic plates collide, grind against each other, or move apart. This type of earthquake is caused by release of energy stored in the earth crust and is result of movement of tectonic. As you can see in this picture, there are two different types of tectonic plates. As you can see, they collide each other and one tectonic plate move upwards and another downwards. Where subluxation occurs and energy is released in wave form which causes it waves. There are different types of waves. Caused during earthquake. Soon we will make different types of waves caused during earthquakes. Volcanic earthquakes. Volcanic earthquakes are caused by movement of magma within volcano or by eruption of volcano itself. This type of earthquake is often accompanied by volcanic eruptions and can cause significant damage to nearby communities. For example, it's the image of volcano where magma in it move upward with pressure. Due to this pressure, there will be some cracks in it, which are called as seismic points. And the movement caused by volcanic pressure and leads to it. These are called as volcanic earthquakes. Collapse earthquakes. Collapse earthquakes are caused by sudden collapse of underground mines, caves, or other underground structures. This type of earthquake is usually of low magnitude and limited in duration. Previously, we have talked about tectonic and volcanic. Earthquakes are most common and most devastating earthquake when compared to collapse earthquake and other earthquakes. Explosive earthquakes. Explosive earthquakes are caused by sudden release of energy due to explosion, such as those caused by mining operations, nuclear tests, or other man made activities. This type of earthquake is usually of low magnitude and limited in duration. Tsunami earthquakes. Tsunami earthquakes are caused by movement of ocean floor, which can trigger the formation of tsunamis. Tsunamis are massive waves that can cause significant damage to coastal communities. Previously, we talked about tectonic earthquakes. The same earthquake which occurs 
in ocean floor or sea floor is called as tsunami because it creates tsunami in ocean or sea. Artificial earthquakes. Artificial earthquakes are caused by human activities such as pumping of fluids into the ground, construction of large dams or injection of waste fluids into the ground. This type of earthquake is usually of low magnitude and limited in duration. So, how we measure earthquakes? The measurement of earthquake is done in two types. One depends on magnitude and other depends on intensity. Coming to the magnitude, the magnitude of earthquake refers to the amount of energy released during the event. It is usually measured in Richter scale. The Richter scale is logarithmic meaning that increases in one unit of magnitude represents a tenfold increase in energy release. So, let me show you how Richter scale is measured. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There will be units up to 1 to 10. If x is the energy released, for every unit, there will be 10 fold increase. For example, if 1 magnitude is x, then 2 magnitude will be 10 into x. 3 magnitude will be 2x into 10. So, there will be 10 fold increase with each magnitude. For example, a magnitude by earthquake releases 10 times more energy than a magnitude for earthquakes. Coming to the intensity, the intensity of earthquake refers to the amount of shaking experienced at specific location and is measured using modified Mercalli intensity scale. The MMI scale ranges from 1 to 12, with 1 being the least intense and 12 being most intense. The intensity is determined by the factors such as the type of soil, the distance from earthquakes, epicenter, and local geology. These are the measurement scales of earthquakes. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest EPSC videos. Thank you.